I've been painting all day. I almost got a painting done. Now Victor starts at the end of the day. Let's see what he can do. We'll finish in two weeks time. So what's the basic story behind that painting there, Bill? Well, this is a, a really funky uh, uh, lace monitor and it's having a bit of an argument with a carpet python. And this is based on a, a, a little guy that I hand fed one day. I was, there we go. A minute. There he goes. Almost took my fingers out of camping ground and come up and so I hand fed him and did some quick sketches. And this one here was this big pipe and this actually bit me. I had this big massive bite there. Uh, I've got razor sharp teeth and oh man. But anyway, threw them all together in a cartoon. I was travelling on the Spirit of Tasmania just after a bit of a Queensland adventure and I was just drawing some Celtic designs and come up with this whole idea, this concept and we're going to make a really wicked painting and well, that's how far I've gone. Second day I've worked on it. I did this, started doing this on at Arts on Fire last year. <laughs> yeah. What's Victor doing? I'm worn out, Bill. That's it, can't do it anymore. I'm tired out. Get through the paintbrush again. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's the gun that was spell. Good start. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> it's completely mad. Yeah, that's obviously the best one. So, best one. Going to put top price on it, one of them, Bill? Yeah, three million. A couple of grand. And now I worked on this year. I thought there was another day. I thought I'd get this done, but I had it. And then Victor's done all this. Yeah, it's easy because he's crazy, isn't he? When he once he gets going. Jammy bastard. And that one of you down the bottom there, apparently someone's offered a top bid on it. Yeah, it was up to, uh, you know, 2,000 yet or? Well, Chicken George sees it, he'll be after it. <laughs> what about the others? The others don't make much sense to me. So you're a little bit wild and woolly, I'm afraid. It's crazy. Crazy hard, isn't it? It's crazy. Maybe, maybe you should be locked up. Go be crazy for being hard, so. Actually, he has been locked up, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, actually, being locked up at once, haven't you? Yeah. Anyway, so this is a Bernie Art and Garden Show. Yeah. For 2012. Packing up, going home. Packing up, are you? Not happy. You're getting sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Behave yourself. I was setting up just for one day. Oh, okay. Sorry. Better put your cue on the rack then. Yeah. Okay. See, See ya. See you next year. Bye. See you next year. I still can't get over those paintings there. Not easily done, is it? It's called, it's called outsider art, and you get mad men to, you know, people that should be locked up. Yeah. Because they've escaped and they've done paintings. You think some of the ones locked up have uh, got more brains? No, no, I think it's just, you know, it's just mad painting. Mad painting, oh yeah. Mad as something, isn't it? I don't think I'm too smart to be an artist. Maybe that's why, you know, I'm so damn poor. I'm too intelligent to be an artist. Yeah. That's why Victor's living up on the Snob Hill, eh? That's right, you bastard. Well, there you go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I've decided that if I put all my paintings together, end to end, I'd probably get like from here to Hobart. But I think Victor, in one afternoon, would get here to the moon and back again. If you put all these little ones side by side. I have to go around like this. Oh. Now we get good posy moves again. Didn't finish it. So when are you going to get it finished, Bill? I don't know, the next start of Ben. Okay. Next time I go out in public. Mm -hmm. Two weeks time. Okay, next time you, you venture out of your art cave. Yeah. Well, I had a bit of fun painting with Victor. Uh, he's a madman.
couple of weeks later I find myself at another art craft fair painting away. And I was sort of thinking about calling this piece of work the futility of war because what you've got is you've got these two giants that are like in fighting each other but what's the advantage in either one? I mean if the python wins tries to swallow the the goanna if it can swallow that big lizard then it's stuck in a very vulnerable position and uh, probably die or you know have to regurgitate it and it's just a futile waste of time killing that in the first place if the lizard was to kill the snake yeah he might get a few feeds out of it but so the risk is not worth it so you got two equally matched dangerous animals at each other um, probably in the wild they would just give each other a wide berth and wouldn't look at each other But even though these two are fighting, their tails are intertwined in a harmonious way, creating Celtic symbols. <laughs> so if you want to get all sort of um, artsy about it, you could sort of say, well, this sort of represents uh, the East and the West coming together. They are seemingly at loggerheads, but they've also uh, sort of working together at the same time but not quite harmoniously and they're trying to build something that's not really working <laughs> so the futility of war was an idea that I had to call this painting but I think it's too pretentious I think um, you look at these paintings and people can read their own meaning into it look at these two images and I think I just leave it open for people to make up their own metaphor of what this could possibly mean. And that's the best way without trying to sound too uh, pompous. Just you know let people just say oh well that's a nice picture or does it mean something well you know let them decide what it means. There is uh, one thing about this painting, I realised that I'm sort of painting the faces together and I realised, well, the lizard's got its ears, it's got its eyes, um, tongue, it's got all its senses focused at the snake. The snake's got its night vision eyes, might not see as well, hasn't got its tongue out at the moment because it's hissing, they retract their tongues when they hiss and so they, that sense is gone, so I was thinking, Hang on, oh, on my sketch pad here I've splashed some paint over uh, the sketch of the snake that I'm working on and it's actually got the pits covered up. These guys have pits in the bottom lip and they are heat seeking pits and so I better pop those in the painting as well. And here you have it, here is the final painting. I hope you've enjoyed this Rather strange video. Get paint on it. Stop it. Paint yourself.